Hey YouTube, it's Austin, aka Walrus here. One of the questions I get asked the most on stream is, how do I make my game look like yours, slash do you use any filters? I figured I'd make a video explaining how to set up filters, slash reshade in Dead by Daylight, to show you guys how you can make your game look exactly like mine, or however you want. I'll be explaining how to set this up on PC, specifically Steam because that's the platform I play on, but it should work similarly if you're on Epic Games or any other PC platforms. Now, uh, before we get into the actual tutorial, you might have the question, will I get banned for this? Isn't this an exploit? The good news is the answer is no, it's actually totally allowed. Nvidia game filters in Reshade are whitelisted by Easy Anti-Cheat, the anti-cheat engine that Dead by Daylight uses. Number two, 80% of comp slash high MMR Dead by Daylight players already use some form of filters. Now, look, this is a made up statistic, but it's about as provable as saying if you're high MMR or not, so let's just go with it. And three, you might not even realize it, but most of your favorite DBD content creators use some form of filters, and they're making videos or live streaming to thousands of people, and they're not banned. So like, you're good, man. Also, I just want to say this real quick, something like only 20% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. So if this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing. It's totally free to you and helps the channel grow. We're coming up on 100 YouTube subs and it'd mean the world to me if we hit that goal within next month. All right, let's get to it. So first, I'm gonna explain how to set up NVIDIA game filters. I'm gonna turn off my personal filters and this is what the base game looks like. Now, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, this is probably the easiest way to set up any sort of filtering for Dead by Daylight. To do this, simply hold the Alt key and hit F3 on your keyboard. And it should open up this window on the left, Game Filters. From this menu, it's very easy to set up some really quick and simple filters to make your game look really good. So all you have to do is click on Styles 1 through 3, which is basically just a preset that you can customize. Hit Add Filter. Uh, a lot of these are kind of gimmicky, fun filters, but some really helpful ones are brightness and contrast, color, and sharpen. Now you can make some really quick edits to mess with the exposure, uh, the saturation of the game, and just add a little bit of sharpening so your game looks a little bit cleaner. And that took me all of, what, 30 seconds? Now compare it to the base game and your game just comes to life the moment you turn on one of these filters. And that's all it took. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card again, this is all you have to do, and you can get some really simple stuff set up really quickly. If you want to install Reshade, which is what I personally use, it'll take a couple extra steps. However, if you want more customizability, it's usually worth it. To install Reshade, either go to the first link in the description or go to reshade.me. From here, you want to hit download and download the latest version, which at the time of this video is 5.0.2. Once the installer is finished downloading, so you can run it. And from here, it's going to populate with a list of your games. If not, you can browse to find it manually. But for most people, Dead by Daylight, especially if it's on Steam, will show up here. Now, when you're picking the game, you want to make sure you're clicking Dead by Daylight Win 64 and not the easy anti-cheat launcher. If you're on Epic Games, it doesn't say Win64, it says something else, but the main idea being clicking on the actual game and not the easy anti-cheat uh, application. So click on Dead by Daylight, hit next. Now, when you get to this next screen, you're gonna to wanna to pick Microsoft DirectX 10, 11, 12. That's the rendering API Dead by Daylight uses. You don't really need to know what that means. You just need to know that this is the one you want. Now, I personally already have Reshade installed, so it's giving me the option to modify slash update my version of Reshade. However, for anyone installing this new, it should say install. So you want to click that and then hit next. Now, the next page is going to give you a whole list of effects to install. I generally just recommend checking all of them. Look, you might not ever use some of these, but, you know, you never know. It's better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. So once you've clicked, hit next and it'll go through an installation process just like this. There you go, and that's it. That's all it took to install Reshade. Once you're done, hit finish, and we'll boot Dead by Daylight back up. Now, when you boot up Dead by Daylight, you should see a prompt at the top of your screen saying Reshade is now installed successfully. Press home to start the tutorial. 
So press the home key on your keyboard and you'll be given the prompt here. I generally advise going through the tutorial, hitting continue and just learning roughly about how to navigate these menus. Although it's ultimately not necessary for the simple filter setup that we're gonna be doing. When looking through this menu, it can be very overwhelming on where to get started and what settings to actually use, which is why I provided a mega upload link in the description below to my personal filters to get you started. Try them out, tweak them out. I have one for lobby, for the lobby and for corn, and then I have another one for darker maps as well. After you've downloaded the reshade presets, to install them, go to your Steam library, right click on Dead by Daylight, hit Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files. From here, go to Dead by Daylight, Binaries, Win64, and in this folder, drop in the .ini files that you downloaded from the mega upload link. After that, you should be good just to boot up the game. And once you're back in Dead by Daylight, again, hit the home key to bring up the reshade menu. And in this drop down menu in the top, you should see the filters that you installed ready to go. You can click them and uh, select them and it should automatically be all set. Again, I really encourage you guys, play around with some of the settings tweak some of the stuff, see what you like, find what works best for you. Everyone's going to like something different. And if you want to create something entirely new, you can use the new preset button and save the current preset as it is and whatnot. That's it. That's really how you, how you install reshade. And look, if you're on console, um, I, I don't know, man, turn up your TV brightness. <laughs> I got nothing for you. I'm sorry. Again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, all that stuff that makes the YouTube algorithm happy. And consider checking out some of the other content on the channel. I try to upload gameplay videos about twice a week, and I also stream on Twitch. So check that out, drop a follow, and come say hi in the chat next time I'm live. Thank you guys so much, and have a good one.